Good evening, family. TGIF. I'm coming to you with a little bit of a cooking video this evening. I had a taste for some baked macaroni and cheese, so I didn't really eat too much today. I just had two dates and just been drinking water, so I wanted to make something savory that'll hold me some good substance. You know, good old macaroni and cheese loaded with, that's it, loaded macaroni and cheese. That's exactly what I'm going to call it. So this is chicken. It's chicken made by Sweet Earth, Mindful Chicken Protein. It's a plant-based protein. It has 19 grams of protein. I've had it before, and let me tell you something. Not bad. You know, I had it with some broccoli over some rice, so that was some chicken and broccoli, like, you know, the Chinese restaurant. So it's pretty good. I've already uh, boiled the noodles. I'm going to be using shell noodles tonight. I've already put my oat milk and uh, vegan butter. I put like a half a taste teaspoon, a half of a tablespoon, excuse me, of some vegan butter in there. So that's already ready to go. I kind of tried to pre-prep everything because, as you guys know, I'm new at this and I wanted to try to save time and cut things where I can. So uh, my seasonings, let me just jump over here, then I'll come back. The seasonings that I'm going to be using tonight, only one seasoning here has salt in it, and that is this uh, garlic powder. I didn't know it until after I bought it, and it's kind of salty. I think it has 330 milligrams of salt. I don't know about you guys, but I'm watching my salt intake. I have um, high blood pressure. So everything here I put in a little bit under a tablespoon. I have some cayenne pepper, some no salt seasoning chopped onions, garlic pepper, some paprika, just a pinch of cinnamon, not not a whole half a teaspoon, tablespoon, um, some Montreal chicken seasoning, pretty good, and uh, some chopped garlic. So I have all of that already pre-measured out in this little handy dandy measuring bowl. So that's what that is. Um, for my herbs, I have, in you know, veggies, I have some uh, scallions cut up, the green and white mix, I use a little bit of both, uh, some bell pepper, jalapeno pepper, some tomatoes, and this right here is called nutritional yeast. It's, um, when you cook it with your pastas or put it on popcorn as you see, However, if you like cheese base in your food, this is the way to go for an alternative or just to add extra flavor to the cheese that you have going in. So it's a, cheese, a source of cheese and it's pretty good. Not bad. I have uh, mozzarella cheese and I have some cheddar cheese. So this is my dinner for tonight, guys. So I will come back to you in a second when I have everything in the pot and ready to go. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I'm going to do here now is kind of, again, went out and pre prep things. Let me get a little focused here. Camera's a little out of contact. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. Let's see. All right, that's good. Okay, like I said, guys, I stepped out for a minute just to kind of get things ready, cutting back on time. So the chicken is ready to go. Uh, I decided to add a little vegetable broth to it just to uh, moisten up the chicken a little. So I put in about a about a cup about a cup of uh, vegetable broth, and I just cooked it down. So what I'm gonna do now is just take this chicken I'm going to put it over into the pasta and then I'll add the cheese and I'm not going to be using all of this chicken I'm just going to use enough I don't want to overpower my pasta you know what I'm saying so let's see maybe a little bit more excuse me if my hand is all over the place when I move my head for some reason I move my daggone hand so y'all might be on the wall somewhere messing with me tonight I think that's enough. What do you guys think? Because I don't want to overdo it. And I also have, I should have put these in before, but I have some tomatoes I'm going to throw in. Throw in a couple of tomatoes. And while I was um, measuring out my cheese, I'm going to do this with my hands, guys. My hands are clean. This is my meal, only me eating it. So while I was uh, portioning out my cheese, I noticed that my cheddar cheese went bad. And this might be a little crazy thing to say but I, being vegan cheese I didn't think it would go bad you know vegan I thought that 
you know, I don't know. Crazy thing. So I'm going to add a couple of these uh, green scallions. Uh, I'm going to add some of this here. Mozzarella cheese. Some nutritional yeast. Yeah, what the heck? Put that all in there. Let me get that pot out of my way. Mm. Let's see how this goes. Oh, this is going to be tough because one hand and trying to... Oh, you guys are going to have to hold on a minute. I got to put you to the side for a minute. I wish I knew how to do that propping up stuff. I probably could do it. I know they use a little bit of everything when it's time to prop up. So at the end, if it's funny, I'll tell you guys what I use to prop it up. But yeah, you're probably going to laugh at it. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to let you see what I'm doing here. Okay, it's not the best angle, but at least you can see something. Yep, you can see a little bit. So, again, I just put everything into this one casserole dish. I got the oven preheated at 350 degrees. Oh, okay, I can just take the cheese out of here. I'm going to add some more Dahlia cheese here. I don't know if you can see it, the Dahlia cheese. Add some more of that. Uh, can't use the vegetable broth because I got you guys sitting on the vegetable broth. So maybe I'll just mix it all up and then at the end, when I go to pick you up, then I can uh, get my broth in here. Because I need to get it moistened now right before I drop it in the oven. Why am I talking with my voice raspy? I don't know. Get on here and I'm all lax and, you know, it's Friday though. What the hell? It's been a busy week. I'm hungry. And it's time for my little self-care session. I'm going to be doing a little facial. Uh, I'm not going to do my whole head, but I'm going to retwist the front of my dreads. And, uh, I don't know, just some little me time. Then probably catch a nice movie. I watched three good movies last night on Netflix. Uh, the one I saw before was uh, Halle Berry when she was married to Old Boy. They both worked at the the psych ward, and uh, she was a psychiatrist. And I guess he was just the head there. And come to find out, he and his best friend, who is the sheriff of their town, were kidnapping little girls and and having their way with them. For years, for years. So, I'm not going to go into the story. It was just actually a very good movie. I can't remember the name of it. I saw it before. And uh, it was pretty good. So, okay. I did as much as I can there. So, now what I'm going to do is add some broth to just moisten it up. Doesn't look that appealing right here right now, but let me tell you something. When this comes together and all the cheese, I'm going to put some on the top. Got my jalapeno peppers in there. I like spicy, but, you know, I can't really have it like I used to eat it. I, I ruined that by having too much of it. So I try to try some things that are a little, well, jalapenos are not mild, but I just love pe spicy peppers. All right, so what I'm going to do is just finish this bag of cheese off to top it off. So, you know, have a nice little coating on the top. And then I'm going to throw this in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes. And I'm going to try to figure out how to come back to you guys once I'm done preparing it. So you can get a, uh, a view of what it looks like at the end. So guys, thank you so much for hanging in here with me. Uh, I'll be back shortly when everything is come together and ready to eat. Talk to you in a little bit.